So you want to learn how to slide hop and air strafe and all that crazy stuff with a standard PS4 or Xbox One controller? No problem, you're in the right place. Now I'm not the master of this by any means, but I'm getting pretty good at it. And I've made a number of mistakes along the way to learning really how, how to do this well. So I want to share with you exactly what I've learned and how I've broken down slide hopping and air strafing into its individual components so that you can use a standard PS4 controller or Xbox One controller and be able to move like the pros do. No crazy expensive Xbox One Elite or scuff controller required. You really just need to understand how this breaks down into the mechanics and which control scheme, controller layout you should be using in order to really take advantage of this movement system in Titanfall 2. And if you're coming back to this video for a second, third, fifth, or 20th time to look for specific tips, be sure to check the description. I do have links down there to the individual components that you'll need so that you can practice those and remember how to do those before you start putting it all together. Before we get into those mechanics, however, there is one very important thing that you need to do with your controller layout. Go into your settings and change your controller stick, your button stick layout to evolved. This is critical. This is absolutely critical because if you're using a standard PS4 or Xbox One controller, you're not going to be able to do all of this without putting it into evolved or bumper jumper or some other controller layout that supports all of this great movement. The second thing you need to do, and this is something that you'll hear a lot of controversy about, is to put the crouch button into hold to crouch. And now let's get into a private match so that we can practice this. For the game mode, I'm going to suggest pilots versus pilots so you don't have to deal with enemies of any kind. And then for the map, the map is not quite so important here, but I'm going to use Angel City because you want this big, wide, flat dock out here, some big, flat area. Any map with a big, flat area will work, and this dock on Angel City is going to work just fine for our purposes. For the first mechanics, once you're in the dock area of Angel City, is the hold to crouch. Go ahead and press down on R3, the right analog stick. Press it as a button and hold it down in order to maintain your crouch. Once you've got it held down, start using the right analog stick to look around, to aim back and forth, up and down. This is going to be critical once you actually start doing the slide hop later on. But it's also one of the most confusing mechanics to get used to because most people are used to toggle to crouch. Now that you are used to holding down the crouch button, it's time to add some run in there in order to slide. So get up a little bit of speed and then hold down the crouch button in order to slide. Once you've got the mechanics of holding down crouch to slide, add a single jump into the middle of this. Practice that a few times. Run, slide, and then give a single jump. Once you've got the basics of that in place, add a couple of extra jumps. Don't worry about slowing down. Don't worry that you're coming to a grinding halt in your momentum. That's not what you care about right now. Just practice run, slide, jump, 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 jump. Get a few jumps in there in order to kind of get the the basic idea of how the slide hop works. But once you get that basically done, start adding the timing of your jumps. As soon as you hit the ground, hit the jump button again. As soon as you hit the ground, hit the jump button again. Jump, 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 jump. This is important because this will maintain your speed over time. The more you slide, the more you slow down. So try not to slide at all. As soon as you hit the ground, hit jump. Now before we move on to moving around, to actually aiming and changing direction, there's an, one important thing to note. Once you're in your slide and you start jumping, you need to let go of your left analog stick, the actual movement stick. Let go of it. Because if you don't, if you continue to press forward, then once you start trying to aim yourself, you're going to end up starting to go sideways. And that's not what you want to do at first. Eventually, yes, you'll learn how to move sideways, move with the left analog stick in order to change directions. But right now, it's important to let go of the left analog stick once you're into your slide and starting to do your jumps. Before you actually start doing any movement while really moving forward, we're going to practice strafing just on the ground. If you're not familiar with the term strafing, it basically just means moving left and right while looking forward. 
So we're going to practice that while crouching. Go ahead and crouch and start moving left or moving right and then add some jumps into it. This is going to give you a little bit of the idea of how to do strafing without actually moving forward right now. It's just basic kind of jumping left and right strafing in order to get used to the mechanics of this. I know it looks a little weird right now. It's not really putting everything together, but this is one step that I think is critical because it's going to be very important for getting it correct once you do start sliding. Now, when you're doing the actual strafing, there's an important piece to note here. If you're on a PC and you're using a keyboard, you don't have a slightly left button. You can't slightly push down A in order to move left. You can't slightly push down D in order to move right. A or D are either pressed or they're not. And you need to mimic that with your controller. So when you're strafing to the left, when you're moving left while looking forward, you need to move all the way left. That's an incredibly important piece to this. You need to move it all the way left or right. And then once you're used to doing that, you can start running forward, going into your crouch, and then holding left or right just to strafe while jumping in your crouch position. Practice this a little bit. Don't worry about your aim right now. Don't try and change directions. Just jump and strafe. Jump and strafe. Hold all the way to the left. Jump, jump, jump. Hold all the way to the right. Jump, jump, jump. Now that you've got the basic strafe and jump and crouch down, it's time to start adding a little bit of movement, a little bit of aim and direction into this. As you're holding left on your left analog stick, you're strafing to the left while crouching and bouncing, start moving the right analog stick a tiny bit to the left so that you start aiming to the left a little bit. And this is where you really start to see the actual air strafing coming into play. You are holding down left on your left analog stick so that you're strafing, but now you're also changing your aim to go to the left. So practice that for a little bit. Hold left on your left analog stick in order to strafe and start bouncing while crouching, and then aim to the left. Now change directions. Go to the right, hold your movement analog stick all the way to the right, and then slightly adjust your aim so that you are aiming to the right and moving in a right hand circle. Practice this several times. This is going to take a little bit to get used to. It's a little awkward. It's definitely unusual to do all of this in combination, and it takes a while to get your thumbs coordinated along with your jumping in order to actually make this happen. But it's worth it. Just bear with me here. We're almost ready to start putting all of this together. Now we face the moment of truth. If you spent enough time practicing all of the individual components, it's time to put them all together. Start by running forward and then hold down crouch to go into your slide. As soon as you hold down crouch, hit that jump button. You'll start bouncing and bouncing and bouncing and start working on the ability to bounce to jump as soon as you hit the ground. That's one of the key important pieces here. Hit jump as soon as you hit the ground. In addition to doing that though, you also need to start using your strafing that you just practiced. You need to jump, 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 while also holding left on your left analog movement stick and then pressing your aim a little bit to the left. This is going to allow you to jump and air strafe and move forward all at the same time. Once you've jumped to the left a few times and air strafe to the left a few times, switch it up to move right. Take your left analog stick and start pressing right on it. Remember to go all the way to the right on your, on your movement stick. Once you've done that, change your aim slightly to go slightly to the right. This is going to give you an additional speed boost moving to the right. Now switch back to the left, do that a few times, switch back to the right and do that a few times. It's not easy to do this. You're going to make a lot of mistakes. You're going to accidentally double jump. You're gonna smack into walls. You're going to generally just make it look really difficult at first. It takes a lot of practice to get this done, but stick with it, bear with it, and eventually you'll start doing all these really cool movements all the way across the map to where you can just basically slide hop around everything and move faster than anyone else in the game because you're just constantly picking up speed and maintaining speed while everybody else is trying to use stim and barely getting anywhere.
So it is worth it, but yes, it does take a long time to practice and a lot of work to really get it right. Once you get it though, you can start doing a lot of really fun stuff like moving backwards and air scraping. Now this gets a little bit more confusing because once you start moving backwards, you're going to switch up the directions that you're pressing on your right analog stick. If you're strafing to the right, your left analog stick is going to be pressing to the right, but your right analog stick is going to be pressing to the left. You're going to be pressing the opposite directions. Yeah, it's a little bit confusing there, but once you figure it out, it's really fun to do this backwards. You start jumping off buildings, seeing people that you just flew over, you turn around, you fly past them, you start strafing backwards, and you shoot them. And that's just really, really fun. I hope this tutorial has been useful for you. I know it's been a lot of work for me to figure out all of this stuff and put together bits and pieces from other tutorials. So I hope that this has put them all together for you in a way that makes sense, in a way that you understand, so that you'll be able to slide around the maps like the pros do without having to spend a ton of money on a crazy controller for an Xbox One Elite or Scuff. Thanks for watching this episode. If it was helpful to you, please do hit that thumbs up button. It helps me out a ton. Also, leave some comments below. Let me know what you're struggling with, what, what I can help with, what I can elaborate on further, and I'll put together some additional videos to help you out. Thanks for watching, and happy gaming.